the man you know and love as Stefan and Silas and the Ripper, Paul Wesley. but he tried to sneak past me and I did cop a feel, as any uh, valid Vampire Di Diaries fan should do. All right, the talented young woman who deserves at least one Emmy for every character she plays, <laughs> Nina Dobrev. Care about is are you gonna kiss her? Not the yet. point is, <laughs> nobody cares. I had icicles in the There's one dude. There's one dude in the audience, and his team, Stefan. <laughs> Like a director, you just no, directed director. your first yeah. episode. Congratulations! He's an yes. Yes. Thank you. Watch the whole, whole, whole first episode is going to be close-ups of Ian's <laughs> eyes to guarantee this. The whole, the whole episode is just close-up of Stefan and Damon's eyes, <laughs> and like um, Stefan's sexy muscles. Yeah. <laughs> like for you and Nina and Ian, are you interested in directing as well? Can you first talk about, what was it like directing? Um, it, it was amazing. I, I was expecting, um, honestly, I was expecting them to really haze me, um, and they didn't. <laughs> but did, Nina, but Nina reminded me of a really funny thing. Um, my okay. first day of directing, um, I, I walk into my dressing room and there's a uh, wrapped like a gift, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, and it says, you know, I'm to Paul, the director. Away. And I and I was and uh, can you just reiterate what the card said because it was so good. I basically wrote Paul a letter saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was funny. That sounded like one of those like that's sort of, that's sort of what it said. It sounded like one of those like by the way, like we should we should invent an e-card where it opens up and it just goes, I love you. I love you. I love you. Where are you from? Yeah, find us after the show. <laughs> that's awesome. That is pretty awesome. Most unique voice. He should dictate all the vampire diaries beginning, like he should be like, this week on the Vampire Diaries. Like, so it's like, on the Vampire like, Diaries. Stefan and Elena. We're not making fun of you. We're, We're not making fun of you. It was, it was great. No, it was beautiful, great. man. It was awesome. Freaking awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I wrote him a letter saying, it's uh, been, after half a decade, we've, gone, we've come so far, and um, now that you, now when you enter the next phase of your career, I wanted to give you a little gift, a token, and and remind you of where we where we started where and it where it all began. Where it all began. And Here. what's most important. Yes. And as he unwrapped the gift, it was a giant portrait of Nina. And <laughs> Nina's. <laughs> But like in neon, but not, not Nina's, like, it, like painted. Just Nina's face. <laughs> like it was, it was a face. painting, Long, flowing It was a hair. painting of Nina's face. But it was now this it's big, and by it's the huge, way. <laughs> and now it's huge. hanging up in my dressing room. <laughs> it was a joke. No, it was awesome. <laughs> what but, I love about that is for anyone who doesn't know the backstory that comes in your dressing room, it's just like. <laughs> right. <laughs> We right. have some things all of we didn't know about. The, the there are, of his own face. <laughs> right. so, there are um, very, so very, very few people that have clearance to walk in Into Paul Westy's dressing, dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? And I am yeah. one of those Seriously? few. You have to have clearance. I had a, well, we all, we all I have love a, like messing with each other. Caroline, I think you have the only dressing room with the people. Other people. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get a word in. Who's there? 
No, I, I don't really have people. But no, you're right, Ian. Nobody really goes into my dressing room. No. It's a forbidden area. Yeah, I go in there. It's I'm, a forbidden I, zone. I go in there. I just two you knocks. <laughs> open the door. Yeah. I'm Ian's allowed into my. I'm forbidden the brother. Zones. What is he gonna do? Kill me? Uh, what was your question? Uh, the question was how the experience was for you. It was a great experience. Okay. It was it was wonderful. Honestly, uh, all jokes aside, these guys, uh, everyone, but these guys in particular. Um, what? Take your shirt off. What? Shirt off. <laughs> these guys. They're exploiting you. Well, <laughs> after party. After party. <laughs> yeah. Haley Fest after party. In Paul's hotel um, room. In my forbidden room. <laughs> Just knock twice. Just knock twice. <laughs> All right, um, these two guys were, were, inc were amazing because they, they knew their lines, they nailed it, they really brought it, and it, it was so touching because I didn't know what to expect, and I think they tried their hardest to be good for me because they wanted my episode to be good, and it was touching. Thank you. My family, I love you too, my family. Paul. Uh, my sisters. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, don't call me that, Paul. It, well, you're my you're my wife. You're not my sister. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, anyway, it was great. I'll be directing season. Yeah. 47. Forty-five. Yeah. yeah. The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Everything is different about me except the hair. <laughs> it's the only thing. I think I think it's I think it's called the. The hero hair, right? Yeah. Hero hair. Hero hair. Although we're gonna do 30 seconds, we're gonna go down the line and back again. And the category is characters who've died on the Vampire Diaries. And the person who gets in the last word right before the buzzer rings is the winner. So I just uh, want to see how many we can remember in 30 seconds. Starting over. Three, two, one, go. Vicky. Vicky. Pearl. 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 Alaric. She said Pearl. We lost. Alaric. Said Anna. Uh, and Jenna. Silas. Amara. Silas. <laughs> you don't understand you said the game. God. Oh. I said Silas. Game or... <laughs> no one's arguing that. I... <laughs> hey, man, it's a good thing you're pretty. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys about the, the doppelganger palooza that you have been in this past season. Doppelganger uh, you played palooza. three different relationships together, Stelena, Stefan, and Samara. I think I'm getting that right. <laughs> Samara. Samara. Um, oh, right. How challenging is it for you, not only to keep those three characters straight, but then your interactions with each other as those three different characters? I mean, I have to say, hands down, you both have done amazing, amazing work. Yes. What a challenging, challenging job you guys have had, so kudos to you. But how has it been for you shifting between those three characters and also your inner, inner dynamics between each other? Has it been difficult? Well, she, you've had to do it for years. I only did it for like a couple, half a season, but you, you're probably better to answer that than I am. Well, I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so lazy, I don't want to answer That's the question. That's what we call pawning off a question. I'm like, you're better at that. <laughs> That was a total pawn off, whatever. <laughs> but she can handle it. Um, you know, it's, I think, I, I'm gonna only speak for myself, so Paul can answer me this too. after me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, you know, when you get to set whatever, on whatever day that we're filming, you approach whatever character you're playing with a completely different, uh, you know, perspective and a different angle, and, and you bring that character to life. And so your interaction with, the other role or the other person is is very different and you have, you know, you can separate them, but as soon as they call cut, he's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exactly the same, but you know, it's, um, luckily the storylines have been so, you know, the writing's so good and we've been able to really dig deep into it and, and create the, the silence in Oh, oh yes, he has something to say. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> Wow. But it's been, oh, yeah, it's been a challenge. challenge. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, but like, I love when Silas and Amara came together at the end, and like, we'd known her for like three minutes, and we'd known Silas for just a period of two. I was crying my freaking head off huh? when I watched that scene when they died together. And that's a testament to 
how good you guys are. And I would say one of the best scenes on the show is when Nina had to be all three girls at once. Triple during the ritual. Yeah, during the ritual. And <laughs> I feel like we kind of revolved the whole episode around that moment because we knew it was going to be hard to produce and we knew it was going to be hard on you. But like, it just, every character was a completely, you had one line for each character, I think, and every character was just completely different. Triple ganger. Like, wow. Triple g there's, there's an equally vocal amount of people and everyone would disagree and yell at me, but there is an equally vocal amount of people that are team, you know, Stelena and team all the things, so. You know, like, I watch, I watch my shows and, you know, I like that Livia, Livia likes Fitz and Jay, you know, like. <laughs> what show is that? Scandal, man, oh. Scandal. And I'm not, you know. So it's all, it's all cyclical. It's all part of their journey with each other. And, you know, Steph and Elena had it. And they love I love all. him, too. <laughs> so if we let, if we let one, Thanks, one guys. affect us too much, then, then we're not being honest to the story. And it's hard. It's not easy because it's loud, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I was trying to think of another show where the love triangle is that potent, like where both sides are so animate about their belief, and I think like Nina gets to, you know, is in the middle of it, so you get, you know, potent everyone loves love you. Triangle. <laughs> like, I what remember, a strange, what a strange yeah. notion. Yeah. But I remember sitting in, um, in in Kevin's office back when we were doing. He was helping write the finale of Dawson's Creek, and and I wasn't even working on Dawson's Creek at the time. We were like five, and, and, and he, he goes, <laughs> okay. And he said, who should, who should, da who should Joey pick, pa Dawson or Pacey? And this is like, Pacey, who did, who right? did she so, pick? So she, well, she picked Pacey when all oh. said and done, but th that's how much the, the love triangle that, that grew out of that show wasn't being driven towards a particular end game. It was life. It was real. Well, I have a question. Relationships. Is she going to pick someone at the end? Ma yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love your question. I have an I hope by the way I hope I hope I hope whoever she no, no. I hope whoever she picks saves their pennies for a rainy day okay. because after all the shit that Elena's Gilbert's been through with because of these two, they're gonna owe her like it's gonna have to be like really nice I think, dinner. I think dates they should compel and diamond her. rings and like trips to nice islands. I think things. they should compel her to forget everything that ever happened and yes. then the final episode is just like her saying, Hi, you know, you guys are both like I think after everything these boys have put her through, she's gonna become a lesbian. <laughs> she's like, you know what, boys are too much work. I understand women so much better. I like Very valid. <laughs> so valid, I'm just gonna <laughs> Elena line. Valid point. Um, I'll volunteer now to be in the final episode <laughs> as her romantic love interest. Valid point. We can just use my fan fiction. <laughs> valid point. That's, that's um, hot. I guess this uh, question is Julie. Um, because the whole like uh, Silas and ketchup thing and that went on and like Elena is drawn to like Stefan. Will Elena ever truly be happy, and will she actually ever have like that free will in her life, where she can actually be happy and figure her life out? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, in the next couple episodes, we actually dig deeper into that whole notion. Couple? Of, There's only one left. Well, what you're doing? Oh yeah, they're that's watching. <laughs> Um, you know, it, the, this idea of the universe drawing them together and what that really means and is that really true? Um, and, and it leads Elena and Stefan to a lot of uh, conversations about, you know, their love story and the free will or not attached to it, depending on, you know, what they learn about this universal prophecy. So as long as it's not in, as yes. long as it's not in Damon's bed. It's not in Damon's why? What's wrong what? with that? Stefan and Lena in Damon's bed? That's just so wrong. How about, how about your shower? shower? My shower's fine, because I can shower. clean that out. <laughs> What's your question, darling? This is going to be a good one. Do we still have hope for Stelina? <laughs> hope for Stelina. Caroline? <laughs> Selena, doesn't that sound yeah, I, like... I'll say there's really good Selena stuff coming up in the episode that Paul directed. I mean, you get to see Selena kind of as we've never seen them before, and it's very yeah. satisfying, it's nostalgic, it's, 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 it keeps It's reminiscent of season one. Yeah. Ooh. And I... Did you just pull that out? Did you know, do you actually know that, or did you just pull that out of your... No, my, ep <laughs> my, my episode... Did you okay. script? Oh, yeah. That's... Up there! She's... <laughs> The question is, where do you see Stefan going in the show? 
Um, Stefan. Well, I think that's more of a Julie question. He's going <laughs> Caroline. straight to the liquor store. <laughs> um, buying a six pack. No, what was he doing? I don't know. I, what do you got going on? Caroline? Guys, guys we got to. Stefan takes. <laughs> Stefan has a hard time. You know, he's had a hard time all season. And <laughs> Things go terrible. It, they just get, really, they get even really worse badly. for Stefan yeah. towards the end. Well, yeah. I know, right? Everybody. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> So, and then they get better. Sorry. So sorry about that. By the way, it hasn't been easy for anyone. But I think yeah, but you, you were... He takes any of us. He takes a yeah. turn for the worse. It, yeah. He takes right, a turn I think we have time for...